Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, I want to talk about keyboard shortcuts in Canva, but an amazing new feature in Canva that's going to allow you to access keyboard shortcuts and access things a lot quicker. So let's dive into Canva and get started. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and also a Canva creator. If you want to know more about that, check out the description down below. But let's dive into Canva and get started with keyboard shortcuts. If you're not aware of keyboard shortcuts in Canva, what we do is we have anywhere on the keyboard, you can press T for, and it'll bring up a, a text box like this. You can press L for line and it'll bring up a line. And then you can edit it under the line options up here. You press C for circle and that'll bring you up a circle that you can then change the size of and squish like a little bouncy ball and you can press R for rectangle which is actually a square but you can actually change the size of these to make them into a rectangle. Fantastic for really simple everyone knows these keyboard shortcuts these days however there's now a new magic option and I'm going to quickly show you a video on how this works. So that's the quick video on how this works but I thought what I'd do is I'd actually demonstrate it here as well so what you can do is you just come to any new page and you don't have to have this on here I've just got that on there just press the forward slash button and then it brings up this option here and you can see there you've got text line arrows you can then change the arrows here you can press forward slash you get circles you can scroll down you can get a all your charts and your stars and your triangles and all your different shapes. You can also search through graphics, photos and videos and add um, an open grid. So it'll take you to the grids option here if that wasn't already open. So if I just go back to templates and I'm on here and I go grids and I want to go to open grids, I can do. That's just going to come directly over there. So let's go back to here and we're going to type in graphics. Now it's going to come up and we can search graphics and we can search for retro. So let's look, we've got all these different retro options here. That's how it works. And then if you come over here, you see on the graphics section here, you've actually got magic recommendations that are based on this as well. See that's, I've deleted that. Therefore it's now just dis deleted. So I'm going to come over here and type in graphics. And what should we search for? Let's search for plants. Okay, so I'm going to choose this plant and you'll see over here my magic recommendations changed. So I've got this plant, however, I'm like, oh, I don't quite know if that's the one that I want. I can now come over to graphics, go under magic recommendations and it will show me there. Uh, it's taken to me to unlock the entire premium version of all the graphics because I'm showing you this on the a one of my free accounts my canva pro accounts got a slightly different feature that i can't quite show yet which is really frustrating that's one of the frustrations that i have when i'm doing these videos for you is that sometimes there's these little tiny features there that i can't show you so that's why i sometimes have a separate free account where i'll show you how this works so this is a you know it's available to free users and also pro users and again you just click the forward slash and you can type in photographs and you can also search and videos as well so you couldn't find any videos that started with four <laughs> but you can come in and you can search all the, your videos as well so you can type in drone and you've got all your different drone shots for your videos or if you want to you can come back and you can scroll down and you can search through photos search for people I really like it. I think this is a great little additional feature. Just a quick video to get you started for the new year. So happy new year. If you're watching this in the new year, if you're watching this in June, still happy new year. <laughs> it's always new year somewhere in the world. That logic doesn't apply. 
anyway thank you very much bye for now